I'm here with Nick Edwards and Patrick Flanagan and Janet. I don't know your last name. Hernandez. Hernandez. So uh, we were talking about your uh, your bestseller uh, that you were the first ever uh, really best-selling self-published book yes. and uh, did over a million copies. And the title was Pyramid Power. Pyramid Power. And Nick's company is Power of Pyramids. And here we are in Cheats and Eats. <laughs> so uh, let's talk a little bit about that. So. The, um, how did that get started? I mean, uh, why did you decide to self-publish? Well, I wrote Pyramid Power in 1972, and I tried to get publishers interested, and they all rejected it and said no one would be interested in the book, in their opinion. And so I borrowed $5,000 and uh, published my first hardbound edition of the books. And it took off like wildfire. Uh, and uh, I was glad then because I owned the book and all the profit on the book was mine. And uh, it's, it sold uh, uh, 1.5 million copies in hardbound. And uh, published it, uh, printed it, published it uh, uh, January 2nd, 1973 is when we released it with a 1973 copyright. <clears throat> and then um, about uh, two years later, uh, so we're January 1973, and then late 1974, Warner Brothers put out a book, Pyramid Power. You can't copyright titles of books. Mm. I was on a TV show, a uh, national TV show, and the interviewer had, had Max Toth's Pyramid Power from Warner Books, and he had my Pyramid Power. And he said, well, Patrick, you ripped off Max Toth's name, publishing your book after Max Toth's book. And uh, how do you feel about that? <laughs> and I looked at him and said, uh, would you mind opening both books to the uh, uh, date of printing? And he said, OK. And he said, oh, OK, let's see. Your book was published in 1973. And Max Toth was published in 1974 <laughs> and and he looked at me and apologized mm. for saying that I had ripped off the title of Max Toth's book it was the other way around uh, I come along and and uh, I build these uh, pyramids and they were not very good pyramids they they were wooden dowels with uh, plastic yes molded plastic sheets over them as pyramid tents and then um, uh, I heard about a dentist who was treating uh, dental implants under uh, under pyramids, and that uh, he was having a 40 percent, I guess, rejection uh, on on dental implants back then. They weren't as good as they are now, and he treated the um, uh, dental implants with pyramids, and that uh, and that uh, the rejection went away. Yeah. And so I said, I have to see this dentist and see his pyramids. So I went over to see him, and he had this array of pyramids made out of uh, tubing, that, like this. Mm -hmm. And and they were aimed at his dental implants, treating them, and he treat them before, you know, he used them. And uh, I said, where do you get these pyramids from? And he said, uh, Nick Edwards, uh, uh, this guy Nick Edwards mm -hmm. makes them. And, and I buy them from him. And I said, okay, well, I got to meet Nick Edwards. So he gave me Nick's phone number, and I called Nick up. And uh, then we became buddies, and, uh, and he was selling the best pyramids. And, um, and we've been, uh, basically, we, we were really good friends, and we, uh, yeah. I lived in uh, Marina Del Rey out in California, and, uh, and he'd, he'd come over, to, and, and we'd race around town in our cars together and, and uh, we're, we're buddies for a while and then I moved away from LA and we hadn't seen each other since uh, like 1975, 76, maybe 78, hadn't seen each other and uh, until now. Yeah, 37 uh, years later. Yeah. And uh, That's great. And, uh, we look different. 
but we still know it's <laughs> the energy is still the same, right? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. The the, uh, the pyramid is really powerful. I, I I took a picture of yours in in Antarctica, and uh, it looks beautiful. Yeah, uh -huh. but it's snow uh, and fantastic. Yeah. When I first met Pat, uh, I wanted to meet Pat because I uh, You've heard of him. I read the books by uh, from Russia about the same time they were talking about pyramids, uh, sharpening razor blades, meat didn't rot, and I said there's got to be something going on. And then I I saw Pat's uh, book out. I went and bought the book, read it two or three times, and said I got to meet Pat. And um, he had, uh, was living in Glendale before you yes. moved, and I was in Burbank, yeah. and I went over and I met. Uh, a gentleman named Duke Longfrey, which was working with Pat and his products, his tin, and, and he yeah. had little tiny one-inch German grids and stuff, and became really good friends. And the uh, doctor was Dr. Paris Garifis in Santa Monica, and he was a implant uh, or oral surgeon. And these were subperiosteal implants. These are like blades that go into the jaw, and they're very tra uh, a lot of trauma when you pound them in. And Good Lord. average was 42% rejection. Wow. And that means an infection, and then they got to pull this thing out, and you got to go through all this uh, trauma. And we met at a party, uh, and I had a table, and I had my pyramid set up. He says, You know, Nick, I'm going to try these. And we, he would put the yeah. implant for a few days inside the pyramid, and then we had a grid of nine pyramids this size. Uh, three rolls of three, and that would be on the patient during the operation. And there was no pain, hmm. the, even after the operation, with the grid there yeah. and the charged prosthesis. And he got on all the news, he got in write-ups of major magazines from this. That's how Pat saw it. He, well, he read it in a journal. And now all these years magazine. later, uh, Pat no, somebody uh, told me about it. Oh, oh, sorry. And now all these years later, uh, Pat is going to do a foreword for your, for your book? Yeah. I'm writing a book called... Uh, the Guide to Pyramid Energy, Conversations with the Pyramid Men. Wonderful. And it's about what I've gone through in the 37 four, uh, or so years making pyramids, all the unusual people I've met, the places I've been, as well as I have a, uh, a, a writer that's also working with me, and uh, he's fabulous, and he's been all over the world uh, yeah. with but to have, to have Pat do your forward is going to be And Pat did awesome. my forward, yeah. and he's going to write a chapter. And a chapter? Right. Yes. What's the chapter going to be about? It's going to be about, uh, you know, uh, the, the discoveries I've made go uh, kind of like in upward spirals. You know, they don't come around in a circle. Mm -hmm. They come around in a spiral. And so as, as I've gotten older and learned more and my science has improved, um, I take old things that I did before and take a new look at them. And and so I've re-looked at pyramids and what they do, so I'm going to write uh, a chapter in his book about what I've discovered in the intervening years uh, with my knowledge about how pyramids work. They work a lot differently than I thought they did back in 73. So